Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install for Black Hits on Corolla 2011. So we're going to go from Corolla looking like this to this. I mean, how awesome is that? Just look at it. This process is going to be applicable for Corolla 2009 to 2013 models as well. And the wiring and the installing process will be somewhat very similar to many of the aftermarket fog light kits out there. Now, there are tons of videos on how to remove the front bumper, so I'm not really going to go through that in details in this video, but I will briefly go through what is needed to be removed in this video. So now, let's get started. So for this Corolla 2011, you'll need to remove the front bumper. To do that, remove the following screws that I have circled on the video. So 7 on top altogether, use the 10mm bolt to remove the two nuts circled in orange. Use the star head screwdriver to remove the two screws embedded inside the rubber, circled in blue. Use the flathead screwdriver to pop off the three clips circled in green. Next, remove the two screws on each side of the wheel, so four altogether. To remove the top screw, just unscrew it and use your fingers to pop it off. To remove the bottom screw, just twist it 90 degrees so that the line will become horizontal. And just use your fingers or flathead screwdriver to pop it off. And lastly, use the 10mm bolt to remove the six screws at the bottom as shown in the video. Then you'll finally be able to remove the front bumper. Then install your fog light cover and actual fog light head onto the bumper and screw them tight. Then connect the harness to both the left and right fog lights. After that, reattach the front bumper through the car and make sure you tuck the wires and zip tie them to make it all nice and neat. And then screw everything back together. So this one is the right side fog light. As you can see, there's an R written and then there is a top and the bottom, so you need to orient it correctly. And on the other side, we have the left side fog light and there is an L written and there is an orientation for the top. Now these two, there's a wire that comes from those two and this is the tube that the wires hold it. So those, both of the left and right fog light wires, they come along this tube all the way here and then the two wires come out of the tube now those two wires they are red and black wires now this red and black wire goes directly to the battery positive and negative terminal so if you trace it along the red wire comes out comes to the fuse which is 15 amps and then that fuse continues all the way to the red terminal of the battery the other black wire if you trace it comes along and then comes all the way to the negative terminal of the battery so that's that and then if we continue along the tube and the remaining cables goes to the relay over there and out of that relay again there are this tube that comes out which pass through the firewall so if you can see this group of cable that comes out of this relay over here this one over here and I have passed that wire through the firewall it goes in there and then that is gonna go to the passenger side inside the car so as you can see here this is the wire that that is passed through the firewall and i have sort of traced this one all the way to the driver's side and then on the driver's side so here is the driver's side and that group of cable comes directly to the switch over here now this switch you'll see the two red cables here now these two red cables becomes one cable inside there now you can connect the red cable to any 12 volt power source and i've connected that red cable to the stereo 12 volt wire now that power is going to power the switch that you'll see here i haven't attached the front cover because i need to make some adjustments to the corner 
um, because it just gets stuck there the moment I push it in. It got stuck, it wouldn't come out. So I might need to send some of these ends, but anyway. You have to pass through the firewall, go from the passenger side all the way to driver side, connect it to your switch, and then you will have the red cable. That red cable um, on that side, you can connect to any 12 volt power source. And that's basically the idea of it. I will also explain you with the diagram when I get up back to my room and we can have a more discussion over there. So basically, the at the moment, um, it's switched off. And when I press it, it's not going to work because the red wire that I've connected to is the accessory wire. So the moment I put in the key to the accessory or on, whichever one, and I press this, you'll see the light over here. And then the fog light should also come on. And then if I go and turn it off, the light will also disappear and the fog light will also turn on. And you'll also hear a sort of a clicking sound from the relay. So I'll turn it on right now. So that's basically how to wire the fog light. I'm gonna go and um, tidy this up and I'll talk to you guys back in my room. By the way, I have trimmed some of the plastic off of the switch cover and now it fits perfectly. It's still a little bit protruding out of the socket but that doesn't really concern me that much. So here I'm back in my room and I've drew this wiring diagram and I've got a photo for a reference as well. Okay, so here I have labeled outside and inside. By outside, I mean this outside the firewall, and inside, I mean it's inside the firewall, inside the car. So starting with the fog lights, so we have the right side and the left side fog light, and it is joined by the red and black cable. Red is the 12 volt positive wire, and black is the negative ground cable. So it goes together to this wiring harness point over here, which is basically this that I'm referring to. So these two goes together, join here. These two comes together, joins here. And it goes along the harness and then the two wires comes out. Now these two wires is these two wires that I'm referring to. So the red and black cable that comes out of the harness that goes directly to the battery and the red goes through the fuse, 15 amps, as I've said before, and then it is attached to the battery. And then it goes all the way to the relay. So it goes all the way to the relay. Now, there's another cable or a group of cable that comes out of the relay. So that is this cable here. You can't really see much, but I've shown in the video earlier, which goes through the firewall. Now for this firewall, um, I have zip tied it. Initially, there was a zip tie. I removed it, passed the cable, put a new zip tie, make sure the entrance is sealed and then trace it from the passenger side and then direct it to the driver's side for the switch. So through the firewall from the passenger side to the driver's side and to the switch. Now the switch has four pin. One pin is the negative, second pin probably is data cable and then there's two red cables. Now, as I was saying before, these two red cables becomes one cable and that red cable you can connect to any 12 volt um, wire. Preferably it's some um, accessory wire because you don't want the lights to be left on when you turn off the key. So you can um, connect it to the stereo 12 volt. You can connect it to any of the 12 volt that you found near the switch. Other people they have connected to the power mirrors and other people also connected to the low beam signal light and that will work fine as long as it is receiving 12 volt. So the idea is that once you turn it on, that switch is going to send a signal to the relay 
which is why you hear that click. And then the power is being sent from the battery to the relay to the fog lights. Once you turn off the switch, the relay receives the signal, the power is cut off to the fog lights, and then the lights are out. Now, just because positive and negative wires are directly connected to the battery, it doesn't mean that your battery is going to drain out because we have the relay. So that's pretty much the idea. And here is the more closer look of the wiring diagram. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or confused about anything, let me know in the comments. Although I'm not an expert, I might be able to help you with some things. So this is what it looks like from the outside. And this is what it looks like when the fog lights are on. And this is how the fog light projects. You can also adjust the fog light beam angle. There is a small adjustment ring behind it. Now you don't need to remove the entire front bumper for that. You can just access it from the bottom of the bumper and make small adjustments. Anyway guys, hope you learned how to install fog lights and feeling confident to do so. I wish you best of luck. And again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you're still here and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and write something in the comment even if it is not a question because I'm always checking them and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway guys, hope you all have a great day, stay safe and peace.